The word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than a two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, and for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good work. Study to show thyself a prudent to God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, or accurately handling the word of truth. Glory be to my Lord God Almighty, to the highest, and peace to be mankind on this earth the one who believes in the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for only one simple reason, which is nothing but to have peace with Him. The peace of God which has been absolutely required for us to learn, to know, to understand, has become a great burden and hurdle for so many people not to know about this great peace. This great peace which comes only from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. There is no name given in this heaven or under the heaven or in this earth which you can understand or below the earth or the sea below the sea. No name except the name of our only one and Savior Jesus Christ our Lord. He is my Lord. He is my Adonai. We are of absolute confidence that we are having peace with Him. And when we are walking according to His peace, His rule, no good thing we will, will He withhold for us. He will give that great blessings He has already promised and given for us in the Bible. The only thing is that the pastor teacher should dig that from the original languages of the scriptures and they have to teach. That is where they are lacking, that is where they are not able to look, that is where they are not able to understand and go and conceive and get back the truth and tell to the people what is the original inspiration of Bible doctrine from the original languages of Hebrew, Greek and Aramaic through proper exegesis, isagogics and categorization so that we could truly understand the true calling wherewith our Lord has called and we could truly know as per First Timothy 1.19 what is it that we need to be with a pure conscience towards God and we should grow up in the unfeigned faith. That is what many men do not even know. What is our calling in Christ? King Joram repented in 2 Kings 6, telling to the point, just wearing ashes or torn clothes of garments. Do you think that is a true repentance in Christ? Never. The true repentance in Christ works which could be absolute peace for God, 2 Corinthians 10, 7 or 7, 10. The goodness of God works for us when we change our mind to be having that peaceful relationship with Him, to enjoy that great and true eternal life with Him. Not just like tearing our clothes and wearing there and being there. Dear brethren, how many people today they have been perishing without having proper knowledge of Bible doctrine? How many people are not able to understand that this land which we have been serving in this flesh, which is nothing but again the ground, it has to be absolutely fit for its fruit. And if it has not been fit for its fruit, then what is the point of serving Him? Then how is this fruit could be absolutely fit? The Kim, Kiyuyam, which has been used in Hebrew, which is always in an imperative mood, which has been told to Jeremiah to arise and go and look. Today, many people are not able to arise and go and look so that they could really obey the Shama, the voice of God. But Jeremiah was not reluctant. He went, he rose. Today it is a mandate for the pastor teacher to study to show thyself upward unto God. The document or test he has to pass, he has to qualify. If he is not passing, then he will be rejected. And many of the men today that are coming to the congregation, not even thinking about the word dokimazo. And how can he be a dokimazo until unless he can have a pure conscience towards Christ, my Lord, my God. 
how can he be absolutely better enough to have a true relationship with him it requires the basic fundamental to be pure conscious with Christ they all come first with the bona fide gift they all learn the word of the Lord and when they enter into the congregation they are following the second hand information of the church <coughs> excuse me being headed by the committee pleasing them rather than pleasing my God they come with utmost obedient to be a true follower of Christ and when they mingle with the politics of the church just for the menial food for him just for the shelter for this flesh as Eve was looking upon those things in Genesis 3 3 what we have studied what made for her to be pleasable in that plant we do not know about that fruit we do not know what was pleasing to her eyes we do not know but she went along to eat so are today the church pastors in the congregation they are not able to really demonstrate the power of Lord God Almighty through the mental ministry of Lord God the Holy Spirit they are really perceiving they are really convincing they are really trying to tell with the wisdom of this world of the thoughts but they are not giving the road for the well built power of Lord God the Holy Spirit to be manifested through them when they are faithfully being prepared under the bona fide spiritual gift we have not come here to be persuasive for you to the words of the wisdom of this world but rather we are here come to demonstrate for you the power of Lord God the Holy Spirit and some morons want to think the power of Lord God the Holy Spirit demonstration has been done by miracles healings or tongues which are really the traitors for my Christ not giving them a chance to grow up in the knowledge of Bible doctrine because they themselves do not know the importance of Bible doctrine because they do not know the spiritual gifts which were temporary and which are permanent they can never divide them that's why they always make refuge for them as lies falsehood they are made covenant with hell and death hell in a sense not losing their salvation but burning out the works that they have done in their flesh no flesh can glory before my lord it is the spirit it is the spirit it is the spirit it is the power of Lord God the Holy Spirit being chosen for us to do his work on this earth it cannot go for any other reasons any other methods any other techniques which you can think Dear brethren, how many days more you want to be far from Bible doctrine rightly exegeting the word of the Lord rightly categorizing the word of the Lord rightly, rightly isolating the word of the Lord with the right dispensing technique of dispensations how many days more do you not know to be in fellowship with God it requires to be a bond slave dollars and decimals prisoner for Christ so that you can have one particular order and stability according to the rule of Christ says Colossians 2 6 being rooted and grounded in his love says Colossians 2 7 because of the piso what our Lord found in us a habitable place a habitable place through regeneration and if we constantly grieve and squelch and lie without having a true and pure consciousness towards my Christ how can we be the real servants of my Lord today the congregations have been filled with simony they are filled with Ananias and Sapphira in their hearts but the pastor teacher has been called to arrest them out but in return, like the people they are, so the pastor has become the congregation. They come fully prepared. But when they enter the church, they try to please one and displease others. And they want to build up the politics in the church. That is not the business of a pastor teacher. Whether they give you salary or not, your work is to teach, your work is to communicate. Apostle Paul says in Galatians 1.10, If I were to please men, I wouldn't have been. Never I would have been the servant of God bond slave of my Christ but today the congregation is falling according to the principles and the stratagem of this world about the thinking of this world the church is not happy without being pleased 
the pastor teacher should appreciate them for their work. God should appreciate, not men. Witnesses of men are fake, saith our Lord. Our Lord says in John chapter 8, Indeed, until and unless you are been out of the bondage of sin, you are still not free. You are slave to your sin. How can we be slaves to our sin? As believers, in our thought, word and deed, neglecting Bible doctrine, rejection of Bible doctrine. But the word of the Lord says, take a U-turn, put to death, complete reversal. The manifestation power of God, how it could be done by complete death for our own sin nature activity. We know all sin nature cannot be killed. It is always there in each and every facet of the blood cell of our body. But we need to suppress it totally out. The antidote for our old sin nature is the mantra ministry of blood get the Holy Spirit being controlling us, our soul. So that we could not be frightened in our spirit. And we could not be ignorant of the devices of the spirit of which is been done through Satan. And we should be absolutely aware what a privilege it is for us. When this great one who indwells in us, greater is the one that is in us than the one who is in this world. We don't give heed. That's what we are still in bondage of sin. You do sin either by thought, word or deed, but Lord doesn't look upon that. Our Lord wants a pure consciousness. Therefore, our Lord demands that the privacy of our priesthood given to you could be exercised. So rebound 1 John 1 9. You want to be a true devotee to my Lord? I don't know how he knew, I don't know how can't. His white designation. Jesus Christ is our Lord. And Jesus Christ is unique. If you want to have that, He deals only in light. We cannot walk in darkness. He deals only in holiness. We cannot walk in unholiness and try to please Him. We need to put to death that which is really hindering for Him. Therefore, the confession of our sins in a pure consciousness towards Christ and take a U-turn and get back to Lord rather than perishing in your sins. And the pastor teachers do not really know what is the power of the knowledge of Bible doctrine if they could really exegete the word. But they have become someone's chilled food coming and mingling around in his mouth and coming to tell again the truth. You need to take the raw, raw food from the original language of the scriptures flanking around so many commentators who do not even know what is the worth of real exegesis of the word and just going on telling their commentaries based upon the English language scriptures. You cannot. Right doctrine comes from the right mind of Christ. Right mind of Christ demands the original languages of the scriptures whether you believe it or not. Without having right mind of scriptures you can never grow up. So, dear brethren, you need to consider about these things. Be watchful, saith our Lord in Luke 21. Be not be cast with this life and lose your work. Be not be drunken. Or do not be frightened in your spirit or in your attitude to be wavery in your mind. Ab Jeremiah was not wavery. Abraham was not wavery. Jeremiah, when he was being told, arise and go, he went. He followed the imperative mode of command. Abraham was being told, you will have your son. He did not waver. He did not stagger. But he believed on to go, to prove the truth. The one who has promised me, he is able to do it. So the matrix of Sarah was being dead. Today, we can do greater things than our Christ. Because he has told for us, the one greater thing what we can do about Christ is to glorify Him. Our Christ glorified Lord God the Father. And we can do greater things than Christ means we can still better glorify Him with all completed knowledge in our hands. With all mental ministry of Lord God the Holy Spirit in our hands. By really obeying for Him and really looking upon the ministry of kneeling down and asking Him the truth. And we can really glorify Him 
to the maximum. Morons may think they can do greater works than Christ, go for his miracles or healings and tongues. No. The only work which our Lord has done, glorified Lord God the Father. And what will be our work? We have to do greater work than our Christ. Because 33 and a half years was his age when he finished his work. We have been granted with 70 years double the age. We need to get double glory to Christ in each and every breath that we take, each and every word that we preach, each and every thing that we teach. That is what really it meant. You can do greater things than I, because you have greater time. And since we have been sealed by the mentor ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, no sickness will come and attack us. No adikamo, which meant to say adikia, which says no hurt. No hurt for you. When you walk in the integrity of truth, Lord knows how to protect for you. The only thing which really hurts is our thinking, thinking, thinking negative, not having belief, wavery of mind, frightened in the spirit, and not looking upon the true calling of Christ, and not able to understand what it is to be the great glory of Jehovah in the coming time. The great desire for Apostle Peter you would have been here he would have been still thinking what to teach, how to teach. That's why he says, though I go out from this body, I want you all to learn about this. And he was teaching to them. And that's what he has written, the scriptures, and gave for us. I do not even know how many of the pastors who are standing in the pulpits have really read the Bible at least once from the original Hebrew, Greek, and Aramaic. Far less they can read it in the translation when they try to come prepare notes and tell the truth, which is not possible. Not possible. The meanings change. The real content of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, in writing the word of the Lord changes when you fail to study. The church supports you so that you can be still too spiritual and learn the word of the Lord. Not to be really glorious, not to be a murderer, not to be a thief, not to be an evil doer, but to be a greater glory for Jehovah when you walk in the Spirit and live in the Spirit and yield unto the fruit of the Spirit. Brethren, consider all of these things. Time is too short. So which way you want to go, you decide as we shall come back and continue tomorrow. With our head bowed and eyes closed, the closing movements being dedicated to those who are here without Christ, without hope and without eternal life. In order to listen to Lord God, the Father to believe upon His Son, Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That is the moment you shall have this eternal truth. This eternal truth for you is so very simple. Believe in Christ, you shall be saved. Whereas for the believer, the great merit is to grow up in grace and the knowledge of Bible doctrine. Only when you should know what it is to learn the doctrine from Lord God the Father and to please Him, arrest us. Please Him with complete satisfaction, out of pure love, pure conscience, out of unfeigned faith. So that you shall know the truth, the truth shall set you free. When you are still in the bondage of sin, you are not free. It is our Lord alone who can set us free through first salvation and second by the principle of rebound in the privacy of our priesthood so that we can learn doctrine and the doctrine can set us free. Indeed our Lord can set us free, said John 8.36. He alone is our truth. He alone is our freedom. He alone is our responsibility of freedom through Eleutheria. And for the pastor teacher, Karugma, Karuso Thon Lagan, what you have preached and teached the word of the Lord. Didasco Caruso, the Diamond from Witnesses in Willing Trinity, follow the Bible in our hands. And number two, Diamond from Witnesses are hearers. If there are no hearers, they are not, not worried besides nature. The entire angelic host will be our witnesses. Because it is God's word that we preach in the demonstration of God, God the Holy Spirit, of His ability of power given through us only by the bona fide spiritual gift to our male believers. We can really manifest the ability of power, or we can really demonstrate the power of spirit of Lord God Almighty. Only when we are having the bona fide gift to show forth. And if you are a pastor, teacher, and not having that bona fide gift, you can never be for his work. So think over these issues as we shall come back and continue tomorrow. Father, we are grateful for the privilege that was given to our Spirit through the Word. We pray that Lord God, the Holy Spirit, challenge us un un in these things so that our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, shall not be glorified. For we ask in Christ's name, Amen.